time for 8.15 drop-off. Now Mommy's on a quick break till 3.30. <sighs> Toughest job in the world. Oh, look, Kylie's mom is out of rehab. Good morning, little guy. Hey, Janet. Good to see you. Hey, listen, thank you so much for your apology email. An individual one would have been nice, but one to the whole class was fine, too. Have a good day, Stewie. Oh, my God. Please be a dog. Please be a dog. Ah. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. It's a kid. It's Doug. Nice hit, bitch. Oh, and Elsa. Don't worry, Lois. I went blind a while back. It was cool. They're some of the last people you can still make fun of. Dad! It's fine. They won't see this. Dr. Hartman, you said there was very little risk to LASIK, but now I am blind. How did this happen? Okay, look, this isn't my fault. It was take your cat to work day. <coughs> Dr. Hartman, what does this mean, you know, for me? Well, whatever your wife did for you, you'll now have to do for yourselves. And until she gets used to her new life, you'll need to take care of her. Feed her, bathe her, drive her places. They're gone, aren't they? They left, yes. Mom, you won't believe what happened. Your video went viral. <gasps> oh, does that mean Circuit City's back? No, it means your ICU video really connected with people. You're helping people who feel unseen, Mom. Like me. You're everywhere. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Make another video. Hi, Lois. I didn't get a monkey. Off to see Bananarama. Bye. Well, it's not what I thought it You can see? I knew it. Okay, fine. Yes, I can see. I can't believe you've been lying. Why? Don't you get it? I have to be blind to keep the money rolling in. Nobody's gonna be inspired by a middle-aged, cisgendered, able-bodied white woman. Or a man. Now you keep your mouth shut or I will... Knock, knock. Helen, is that you? Oh, I'm so blind. <laughs> cause. And what say. will your foundation focus on? Women's issues. And the environment. Refugees. Well, we support you. So we've got a surprise for you. Oh my god! Reese Witherspoon! I love her! <gasps> Lois. How did you know it was Reese Witherspoon if you can't see? Ah, uh, um, that's, that's just, um, what I say when I'm excited. <gasps> Reese Witherspoon! Lois, are you actually blind? Yes. Lois Griffin, I find you guilty. And I sentence you to pay your roommate back for his dog food. Or whatever dumb s*** this one's about. Well, Lois, I'm glad you're not blind anymore. Oh, me too. I just wish I'd handled it better. Hey, at least you got to go to Hollywood. Burbank. What's the difference? Oh, uh -huh, boy, I'll show you. Want to get your car washed by a former Nickelodeon star? Want to take an improv class from an instructor you have to drive home after? You can, in Burbank. Buy a house with a second floor no one got permits for, and then watch the 98-degree winter nights tick by through rusty bars on your windows. Share a duplex with that guy from That Thing. Pay L.A. prices for Orlando amenities in Burbank. I guess you only paid for driver's side airbags. Yeah, when I bought this, I was dating a girl I didn't like. <laughs> ah! Meg! I'm injured! Please help me! I smell gas! Meg! I'm still alive, but I'm badly burned! Come save my life and nurse me back to health! Oh, God, why do bad things happen to good people? Most have and most speaking. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a friend, last name Keybum, first name Lee. Come on, look at the stools. Uh, is there a Lee Keybum? I Somebody checked the rear. I know I got a Lee Keybum. Then you probably shouldn't be handling food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's amazing. That's the coolest thing ever. Merry Christmas. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, she's doing that flirty laugh she does. 
It's subtle, but when you've been married as long as we have, you notice these things. <laughs> You're very funny, Lance. You're a very handsome, funny man. Now let's see that penis. Yeah, I agree with Chris. I don't think you have the makeup to be a nurse. You're impatient. Are you done? And you faint when you see blood. Yeah, I got over that. Pass the ketchup. <laughs> nah, I'm scared of needles, so I've been faking all my nursing. Just driving a car a second ago, that's a problem, right? And now to exhibit the only power I have in this world. Stop! Hey, stop! He's not stopping! You're supposed to stop for my hand! You're supposed to stop for my hand! I'm your children's teacher, Miss Laura. And like pretty much everyone in America right now, I'm very high on legalized edible pot. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy how much your kids look like you. Why? Okay, Justin Peter Griffin. It's actually just Peter Griffin. So this is not your birth certificate? Oh, my God. Your first name is Justin? It is? Wow, I never noticed that. I'm a Justin. Peter, it doesn't change a thing. You're still the exact same person. I beg to differ. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. And why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. Uh, uh, what part of Edenville you from, huh? What part of Edenville you from? Oh, West Edenville. Oh, really? West Edenville? Do you know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. No kidding. Bob, it's me, Peter Griffin. Oh, my God. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You got to meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. So I'm going to prove to you that there is no such thing as someone who is psychic and that with the most minimal training and the right set of buzzwords, anyone can appear to be psychic. Even a complete boob like Peter. Watch this. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm psychic and I'm getting a strong feeling from you. Do you have a watch or clock that no longer works? Wow. I used to have a watch that broke. You see, just by asking very general questions that would apply to most people, a person can appear to have inside knowledge about you. I'm also sensing that you have a dead relative. My husband died of cancer last year. Oh, my God. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm sensing some other bad stuff. My daughter was just in an accident. Sweet. High five. <gasps> You're awful. Hey, you don't want to hear the truth? Don't come to the park. Uh, okay. Okay. You made your point. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Price is Right. Time to spin the wheel. Top winner for the day is Peter, so you're going to be the first to spin it. Go ahead, Peter. Close as you can to a dollar without going over. All right. While we're waiting for the wheel to spin, you want to say hi to anybody? Oh, yeah, Drew. I want to say hi to Lois, Brian, Chris, Dewey, Meg, Joe, Bonnie, Quagmire, Cleveland, Mort, Seamus, Adam West, Dr. Hartman, Bruce Carter, Babs, Tom Tucker, Angela, Opie, Carl, Herbert, Jillian, Consuela, Giant Chicken, Chris, Top Deaf Guy. <laughs> okay. I'm sure they're happy to hear that. Whoa, paramedics, come on down! I'm going to give the performance of my life as Little Bonnie, bringing you to the brink of conviction, only to be topped by my public defender character, Ed Dickel, the ultimate showman, who's going to rake that little girl over the coals to get you off. Let's get to work. 
What's this? An even smaller briefcase? Another? A key? But to what? This. The ultimate showman. Oh, here's my phone, Bill. Hang on, I should knock this out while I'm thinking about it. Got a charge on here I don't recognize. Your call is important to us. Trust me, you want this resolved so I can give your case full focus. He moved to Chicago without me. Never talked to him again. Tried to get in touch, but who can touch a shooting star? You can't even touch a regular star, Stan. Their sons. If I'd just gotten in that Fiero, I'd be a famous comedian. <laughs> what? How? You're not funny. <gasps> but, 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 but I'm a funny guy. That's what I identify as. Stan Smith, funny guy. Uh, I honestly don't know if you're joking right now. It's always so hard to tell with you. Are you being crazy right now? Kids! Not you, Klaus. Your dad just said he's a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing to say, Dad. That's not like you. It wasn't a joke. Here's a joke. Have you seen these teens eating their Tide Pods? What the heck? Those are for dishwashers. Boo. Stan, the last good joke you made was Steve. Nice, Mom. You burned Dad and Steve. Unlike Dad, who's had 14 years to burn me and never once scored. Never once scored. Kind of like Steve. Oh, wow. You see that, Dad? That's how you roast Steve. Bit him. I didn't know what else to do, so I just bit him. And I feel like that was the right move, because he never charged me for the guitar lesson. Okay, on to other business. We have an exciting new villain, Anastasia Kirilenko. Kirilenko? That sounds Russian. That's right! The Russians are doing shit again! <laughs> the Russians? They dance like this! Hey ho, hey ho, ha, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right, Styles. They do. Jackson has painted a fresco on the ceiling detailing the mission. Now, this is for you visual learners, and also for me, because I got bananas high before this meeting. Jackson? We intercepted an order from Kirilenko's IP address to the American Girl doll store. Oh where Kirilenko's daughter ordered a special, one-of-a-kind doll. Huh? The plan is to put a bug in the doll Dude. and ship it to the Kirilenko compound. Whoa. We'll finally be able to listen in on the Russian mob. Yeah. We've coordinated with American Girl, as we do on most missions, and they're giving us access to the doll before it's delivered. We just need an agent to go to the mall. Oh, oh, me! I'll do anything to get out of work. That's what I like to hear. Pick up the doll, bring it to work Monday morning. I will be busy all weekend posing for my deputy director portrait. Who said you people could go? From the creators of Young Sheldon comes even younger Sheldon. Yuck, it's just a fetus. I get out of here through where? Uh, no thank you. <laughs> Okay. I just had the tightest dinner with Jürgen. We destroyed the Chimdale Ruth's Chris. What gives, Klaus? You never have any money. It was Jürgen's treat. I did his taxes and got him a three-figure refund. I didn't know you did taxes. Can you help me with mine? Sure. You thinking standard or itemized deduction? Those are the exact types of questions I'm trying to avoid. And that's... Why are you dragging us to church with you? We were going to find Jeff the perfect pair of overalls today. It's always a chest pocket that's the deal breaker. When it comes to overalls, you can't settle. That's why Criss Cross split up. It's wiggity, wiggity, wiggity sad. This family goes to church on Easter. End of story. Well, Roger's part of the family. Why doesn't he have to go? Roger goes to church, just not ours. You got to have power. All you need is power. Whoa, whoa. Wow! Oh! Brother Jenkins is feeling it! Jesus, take my feet! Which means we get to do the one thing we bond over! Skiing! <laughs> Buen dia, my fresh chunky plow gobblers! You three hang out? Hell yeah, we do when it comes to... Skiing! Skiing! 
Whoa, how did you get up here? I was excited. I jumped. Is this real? Does it work on people? Sure does. Wait, Jackson? In the flesh. I always wanted to be a woolly mammoth and CRISPR made it happen. And these two swear this is exactly how big they were. So it works on people, you say? And my children are people, you say? And I can borrow this for the weekend, you say? He's going to take it, that's pretty clear. Let's just stand here and enjoy the smell of giant corn and each other. Your DNA is ready for injection. You may now play God. Someone has to. Excuse me, mind if I move in? Ow. Please to meet you, one thing, Dracula. My name's Unicorn Tail Softbottom. <laughs> Stan, have you noticed that the kids are acting strange? Probably because I altered their DNA, so they're more like me. What? Why? Francine, have you ever looked at someone and just known they needed to get crispered? Does CRISPR have anything to do with that syringe you're holding? No, oh, this is liquid kisses. Liquid kisses? For me? Screw you, Al Bundy! <laughs> 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 me too, guys! Quiet, Quiet fish. fish! Whoa! We're, We're really, really on, on the same page! page. Burt Bacharach seems, seems like he should, should be, be dead, dead by, by now. now. Whoa! 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 Great parking spot, right, guys? Hell yeah! And check this out, Pops! A -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. Bring back those good old days! days. We mean, mean those days when the boys sang the melody! <laughs> <laughs> Could I have engineered a more perfect family? My chin dropped! Oh, Mama, get over here. I have a plan. Everybody sneak a Monte Cristo sandwich into bed tonight. This plan sounds delicious, Dad. Don't be cute, Steve. Dad, we all brought sandwiches to bed. What's the plan? Five minutes. Uh... Stan! Uh, Jumbo Wumba! Okay, everything we need for our escape is right here in the Monte Cristo sandwich. I'll remove it from the baggie and just lightly touch the grease-soaked bread to the sheets. Wow, and gross. Next, we use the jam. <laughs> wow, that's strong jam. <gasps> I think I just figured out why I almost died of diarrhea. Wait, it's powdered sugar time. <sighs> We're not going this way, but it looks cool, right? Wait, we should grab Klaus. There's no time. Next, everyone take the ham out of your sandwich and eat it. It's the perfect protein-rich snack to keep our motors humming. Is anyone there? It sounds like four people eating ham. Good ham. Oh, man, the forbidden door is locked. Luckily, the giving sandwich has one last thing to give. The bread. <gasps> this isn't an exit. It's a graveyard. Look at the way they're grouped. I think they're other families. Yes, there are a lot of dead bodies, but at least it's not a gift shop. I hate crass commercialism, but the skeletons are for sale. I make keychains. Perfect for a gas station bathroom. Do you have any gas station owner friends who have a birthday coming up? You killed all those families? What? No, they killed themselves. On average, most off themselves after living with Dr. Weitzman for three days. Though the current record is the Shelmerdines, who only lasted 45 minutes. That hurt my feelings. But you guys really hurt my feelings trying to escape. I thought you loved me. Wait, the other families killed themselves without trying to escape? Well, it was before my online guitar lessons. 
before I got really good. You suck at guitar. Yeah, man, you suck at guitar. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. I think this is working. Keep mocking him. You have long, beautiful eyelashes. No, honey. And you always cuff your sleeves like Cam from Modern Family. <laughs> That's not good. Wizard alert! <laughs> Get out! Get out! How'd you know he'd let us go? Actually, I was sure he was gonna kill us, so I just wanted to get it over with. I can't believe it! We're home! There you all are! You're good hiders. I've been looking for months! Jeff? Did you think we were playing hide-and-seek this whole time? In September, I doubted it for a second. But then I found this clue. So I took apart the water heater, but you guys weren't in there. There certainly was a smell, though, and a lot of scalding water. And you guys stayed true to the game. When I screamed in agony for help, you stayed hidden. And you didn't visit me in the burn ward. I can't tell you how much I respect that. And now the game is over, and I don't know why. I guess I can return to my life. Right back in. Only like Science Club for Hi. Bartleby? Where is he? Oh, dang! He's dancing between the raindrops! There's not a car alive that could hit Bartleby! Bartleby, no! Oh, my God! This is terrible! Poor Bartleby! Steve? I'm sorry, but I think this is a sign I need to leave Science Club. What? No, you can't! Yeah. Is that Principal Lewis? Ah. What's he saying? Oh, you gotta burn that broken turtle. I've planned everything perfectly for the Halloween pep rally, and the last thing I need is a big old turtle ghost haunting us. You can use the school incinerator in the basement. Is that kid smoking by the bicycle stands? He told me he was out of cigarettes. You... And now, as is Halloween pep rally tradition, we shall see presentations from the clubs. We're skeletons! Ooh. Croquet Club has pleased me. Science Club, you're next! Science Club has built a machine that defies the laws of science! <gasps> I told you to burn that! What once was dead and gone may finally live again! Billy, pull the lever! Behold the feats of Science Club! Especially you, Snot! <gasps> Bartleby's back! And so is my interest in science. This is an abomination! I'll burn that monster myself! No! Don't! I need him, or Snot won't come back to Science Club! I'm canceling Science Club! I won't let you! I'm bouncing down the stairs! I'm losing consciousness. Maybe to die. Smith, Billy, if you're going to kill me, bury me in the Lewis family plot off Route 6. We're not going to kill you. I just have to leave you down here for now. Unless you promise not to cancel Science Club? Not a chance. Don't you think the school will ask questions if I suddenly disappear? I'm the principal. He's right. We need everyone to think Lewis is still around. Let's get a fat suit. I'll be the left side, and you can be the right. I have a better idea. Better than the fat suit? <laughs> I think we're in the right place. <laughs>
how would you feel about bringing humans back to life? Oh, I would find that foul. Whoever's capable of doing something like that is disgusting. Shameless, sacrilegious, vile, just loathsome. Awful. And an all around bad person who deserves to rot. To rot. Yeah, totally, totally. Okay, cool. Glad we agree. Well, you gotta go. Oh. Mm. Oh, too hot. You didn't blow on it first, you monsters. Speaking of monsters, we created a Frankenstein version of you, and everybody bought it. He can only grunt and smash things, so. <laughs> Everything's riding on this walk. <laughs> hey, Principal Lewis. <laughs> They're buying it. <laughs> It worked, but how do we calm him down? Ah! People thought it was you. Mm, you've got it all figured out, don't you? Except for one little problem. Tomorrow is my Halloween boo brunch with the superintendent. It's all easy breezy chit chat. No way your grunting imitation Lewis can pass that test. <laughs> no more Gilmore Girls. We gotta teach you English overnight. Me want coffee. Can have coffee with my coffee? He's learning English from Gilmore Girls. Great! Gilmore Girls is notorious for being an easy, breezy, chatty show. It's perfect for the boo brunch. Say something effortlessly charming. Kill! Hmm, not black tie ready. We'll keep him here watching Gilmore Girls overnight. I'll go get us some food. I've got an in with one of the lunch ladies. She says she likes how much mashed potatoes I can eat. Steve, I've been waiting in the lab. Are you blowing me off to hang out with the principal? Of course not. The door's just closing. Someone inject this into my veins. Is that show just about coffee? The superintendent is here. Okay, Frank and Lewis, remember, you need to talk about things that aren't just coffee related. Okay. What is family? I think he's struggling to understand some of the more complex themes of Gilmore Girls. I worry, and you, Lorelei, we go to Luke's diner. You teach me about love and private school. Yeah, that's not going to be possible. <laughs> Luke's diner or no boo brunch? Brian, are you ready for me? Okay, do this for us, and we'll take you to Luke's diner. I promise. Enter, soup tendant. Brian, you look terrible. Practically dead. I love that you're always on theme. You want coffee? And keep it coming. Yes. So, what's up? Well, I'm a monster. We're screwed. You think you're a monster? You should see how impatient I am with my mother on the phone. Also, I'm always adopting dogs and putting them right back on the street. Speaking of dogs, I saw Snoop Dogg at the grocery store, maybe. And that was my first slice of bread. Three hours later, we were making love in a motel room. A mouth-watering tryst, my friend. Time to go. Well, feels like it's time to go. Wait, I just realized I haven't asked anything about you, Brian. Oh, no. Oh, well, next year. Bye, bitch. <laughs> that trick was a treat. We did it! We got through the boo brunch, and now I can have science club with snot! You promised Luke's diner. No time, Frankie baby. Maybe later. You break promise, you be sorry! Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? Use your superhuman brute strength to kidnap my best friend snot who is playing unsupervised on the front lawn right now? Well, if that's what you're thinking, you can forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Toshi, what, what happened? Principal Lewis went mad. He ran over here, knocked all of us down, threw snot over his shoulders, and ran off. I think I asked Toshi, 
but I don't have time to scold you on manners. And now I don't even have time to listen to Toshi. I'm coming, Snot! Billy! Frank and Lewis took Snot. We have to find him. He, he could be anywhere. I'm with you till the end, Steve. <laughs> Billy! In the car! I know you stole those schematics. I'm out, Steve. That's right! You better run! Oh, Smith, has everything fallen to pieces and now you need me? Yes! It has? I was just guessing. Frank and Lewis stole snot and ran off, and I don't know where he went. If anyone knows how to track a bunch of dead Lewises, it's an alive Lewis. Let me out of here. But you're gonna punish me. You could even have me arrested for what I did. Arrested? The only thing you've done wrong is prevent me from feeding the man I have locked in my basement. You said he wanted to meet you at Luke's diner? He's going to Stars Hollow. The town from the show? That's not a real place. No, it's not a real town. But I know where it would be if it did exist. In the pilot, Rory starts a new school in Hartford, which Lorelai claims is a half-hour bus ride from Stars Hollow. Now that could be- Look, I'm not gonna find this explanation as impressive as you think I am. This is it. The location of Stars Hollow if it were a real place and not just a song in our hearts. What is this? He's building a real Stars Hollow. This is Luke's diner, and over there's the gazebo in the middle of town. And here's the barn Miss Patty teaches dance in. And there's Frank and Lewis. Frank and Lewis, please calm down. D -d Did you hurt Snot? I'm up here, Steve. You promised Frank and Lewis coffee at Luke's. You break promise for that boy. He is your Rory. But I should be Rory! You have coffee with me now. Ask how school was today. H how was school today? I don't know what school is! Why did you create me only to suffer? I didn't mean for you to suffer. I was just trying to save my friendship with Snot. Save our friendship, Steve? Honey? Our friendship's not in danger. Then why did you join Croquet Club? It's a fun game. Maybe you should join too. Because looking around, I don't think science is the best thing for you. I guess I did overreact a little bit. It's just, you are the most important- No! Don't have Gilmo moment with Snot! Have Gilmo moment with Frank and Louis! Ah! You be my Lorelei or die! I can't! I've never seen the show! Then you die! Stop! I'll be your Lorelei. You? Why? You're a bunch of my dead relatives dug up and sewn together. That basically makes you my daughter. Hmm. Gilmo Momo. Frank and Lewis, I'm sorry I didn't consider your feelings as you slowly began to develop them. Thank you. That means world to Frank and Lewis. There's still a couple of hours left in Halloween. Who wants to ride around in my monster truck and scare sweet children? Yeah! Happy Halloween week, everyone. May your demon chains rattle you to the core. The CEO of Octodul Formaldehyde is here to answer questions about the alleged leak, Mrs. Harriet Bustax. Well, what a surprise. It's Roger. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Boo! Criminal! Liar! You suck! Let's give her a chance to explain. She bribed me a huge bribe. What's happening is we're deliberately pouring formaldehyde into the ground because disposing of it properly is a whole to-do. The people of Langley Falls will not stand for this. Can I just say one thing? What if formaldehyde were good for you? I'll admit that is convincing. But how do we know you aren't lying? If I were lying, would I drink the tap water myself? She likes it so much she pissed herself. 
That's what I do when I like something. Me too. Want to get out of here and go to the, the Sbarro in the, the food court? court? Who wants formaldehyde swag? Me. 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 Me.